into the feet of Batten. And now he uses down ball, still on the halfway line here. It's a deep ball. Let's Hemmings take over, and then he just rolls it sideways to Arthurs. He then plays the ball forward, looking for the run of Harvey. Pat Carey comes across, and then it's Greenshade who picks up the loose ball. He's up against Simpson here, and Kane comes across as well, and the Western defenders snuff it out. It's now Simpson looking for a clearance. He's under pressure from two. Has the ball gone out? It hasn't, so Western can play on, and now it's that's a great ball, in fact, from Kane into the feet of Pope. It looked like it might have been intercepted. It wasn't. And then Withy can pick it up as he goes up towards the halfway line here on the western left. He's got McKenna outside him if he chooses to use him. He doesn't. Instead, comes inside to Kane, just inside the city half. And now it's Carly Simpson up 35 yards out from goal on the western right. Uses a substitute plumber outside him. He's faced up by Greenslade. Now into the feet of Kane, right on the edge of the city area. Plays it square to McKenna. 20 yards out from goal here, McKenna looking to shape for shot instead plays it into the feet of Wilson who shoots goes right still inside into the bottom corner from Scott Wilson and as the clock turns just over 90 minutes West and Souvenir have snatched victory here at Twilton Park and well I say they have the lines was going to no, they have no because Wilson's taking his shirt off a wonderfully worked goal by Western Supermare. They were so patient. They built, they built, they built. Then Wilson just got, worked himself half a yard of space on the edge of the area. Drove his shot low into the corner of Phillips' left, left-hand left side. And for me, that probably, obviously not mathematically, but I don't see any way a City being able to get out of this relegation battle that they're in now. I hate to say that with this number of games still to go. But um, Western fans, uh, what, about 50 behind the goal, absolutely over the moon with that. And uh, it's what they came here to do. They, you know, they brought on their more attacking players late on in the game. And uh, it's the first shot on target they've had of any note. And, uh, you know, but the last 10 minutes they've been the better team. And that's the substitutions which have affected this game to that. City have got no one on the bench who could affect this game in that like that. It's an absolute hammer blow for City survival hopes. Is Borch is going to be four minutes added on. We're in theory you're already about a minute and a half into that, so it may be slightly more. As Wilson's celebrations understandably went on for a little while, and well, Bath City one 0 down here and going to find themselves in the relegation zone unless they can find an even later goal. As it's now with Hemmings 20 yards out. Hemmings looking to put into Harvey Simpson covering it's out for a corner kick to City. The corner count rising, but they need to make one of them count because it's going to be Ashtington who once again comes across to take it. 92 minutes already on the clock here as Kington from this left hand side, being Indian swinger, plays it into the centre of the area. It's a good ball, it's hard, oh, it's been tipped over, but it's going to be a red card. It's going to be a penalty, it's been tipped over the bar. It is a red card for Kane Ingram and Spur City have got themselves a penalty to snatch a draw with a conceded in injury time. There's no and even later chance to get a point and it was it was a great bullying by Kington it was Harvey with the head of it it may have been bouncing over it may have been bouncing into the top corner and it's like Louis Suarez for Uruguay against Ghana in the World Cup a few years ago Ingram has decided I'm not going to get my hand on it I'll hit it over hit it over the bar and take a punt that with City's penalty record this season we still might get away with it well he has to do it you know he absolutely has to do the handball and uh, I don't knock him at all for that and uh, City got a chance Somehow to get back into this game, the penalty spot Tyler Harvey on it. It's going to be Tyler Harvey to take then up against Luke Purnell. A chance to rescue Skill Point City. Harvey steps up and scores just about the keeper. Got a hand to it, it's gone underneath him, looped up into the net. And it was a poor penalty by Harvey, really, but it's hit the back of the net, and that's all that matters from a city point of view. Well, incredible, isn't it? You know, both sides have struggled to get anywhere near the target for the first 90 minutes. and. Scott Wilson scores for Weston and then City go down the other end, get a corner. And uh, from the corner, the header by Harvey tipped over. It was a weak penalty. Pinnell will be absolutely cussing that he didn't save it. I'm not, saying, I'm not blaming Pinnell in any way for not saving it. But um, it's never easy to save from 12 yards when the player hits it like that. But uh, they'll be so disappointed. Weston coming again though. Yeah, it was one of those ones where, as you said, you can't ever really criticise the goalkeeper, but he, got it. he went the right way, he got a hand to it, and it wasn't the most powerful struck penalty. There's no Harvey, you see. Oh, it's a goal! 
absolutely unbelievable seaters. The ball is broken to Harvey's. He's in the, the uh, centre circle just at the western half. He's seen the ball off his line. He's left it up over the keeper right into the top corner. And unbelievably, the one more down with no two minutes on the clock. Bath City have turned it around. Tyler Harvey's turned it around. Dan Bowman got man of the match about 10 minutes ago. It's about to be ripped off in mode. Amazing scenes, absolutely incredible. And there's probably about a minute left, I would think. Weston don't know what's hit them. They score in the 90th minute. City equalise with a penalty. Weston down to 10 men for handball on the line. No dispute about it. Brilliant save by Kane Ingram, apart from he's a midfielder. And then somehow City, they get into the lead. Oh, it's a terrible pass by Josh Hutchinson. You don't do that at this point. And uh, just put it into the corner, Josh. And the referee is blown, and that's a free throw. Listen, Western players are down on their haunches. They cannot believe it. Michael, amazing. Oh, it's absolutely unbelievable. 90 minutes. It didn't look like the goal came in. It was, it was a fantastic finish from Scott Wilson to put Western winner up. And at that moment, as you said yourself, Q, Bathers were, were down, essentially. It looked like they were down, but somehow it's a corner kick from Harvey. There's what one man turned it around, it's in his head that's been flipped down for the penalty. He stepped up, scored, and then, oh, look, for the any of you here for the North Derby game last year, that dipping volley from Nick McCoutie, it was very similar, but about 20 yards further out. It's gone up over Penal, and as you can imagine, Twinton Park erupted. It was an absolutely incredible finish from City, incredible finish from Tyler Harvey. The Western players are understandably shell shot. They can't believe what's happened. And that is an absolute hammer blow for Weston to deal with. We'll be back for, in a couple of minutes for full-time analysis. Ross, our producer, will also be here to, I say, try and shed some sort of lessons. I find that hard to believe, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes.